at exactly 3 p.m. East African time, Thursday, 30th of March, 2017, Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich is expected at the National Assembly for the traditional budget statement session. This time round, he will be outlining measures through which the state will be financing its largest budget in history at 2.6 trillion shillings. While the budget estimates as per the current constitution were released in February, the CS will be expected to tell the nation the measures he will put in place to raise the money for it. Already, the Kenya Revenue Authority has been tasked to raise no less than 1.7 trillion shillings in the budget, while the government will be looking out to donor partners as well as loans to plug the 900 billion shillings deficit. In the allocations by the Treasury, development projects will take some 640.8 billion shillings. This is expected to support critical infrastructure and includes an additional budget allocation of 75 billion shillings to the standard gauge railway project. The energy sector is expected to receive an estimated 35 billion shillings that will go towards projects such as the Jubilee Administration's flagship last mile connections, geothermal development as well as exploration and distribution of oil and gas. <laughs> Allocation towards lease financing of police vehicles, medical insurance for police and prison offices, and construction and equipping of the National Forensic Laboratory will form the core of allocations to the security sector. Some 15 billion shillings have also been set aside for military modernization in this sector. Yeah. In education, the government has planned to allocate money to free primary and secondary school education at 47 billion shillings. The sector will also receive 10 billion shillings for the Higher Education Loans Board and 83 billion shillings for university education. In health, some 4 billion shillings has been set aside for the free maternity program, while another 1.3 billion shillings has been earmarked for the rollout of the universal health coverage. Patrick Igonza, JKL.